Hi there. I may look like a scientist for Axlead, but I like to talk from a more neutral position so that you can listen to me without any bias. In the spirit of delivering an unbiased viewpoint, please call me Mr. A for the time being. Now, do you know how many new drugs are developed in a year across the globe? The number of medicines launched in 2018 by pharmaceuticals around the world was only 56. It's said that approximately 50 drugs are developed every year. After spending a significant amount of money, time, and knowledge, the possibility of actually developing a drug is very small. Drug discovery is like going on a treasure hunt. However, new drugs are necessary for human beings to overcome various diseases. This has led to the current setup in which companies specializing in drug discovery research are created to partner with pharmaceuticals for the purpose of developing complex drugs. And finally, this movement has reached Japan with a spin-off company from Takeda Pharmaceuticals, aiming to become the first platform for drug discovery in the country. That spin-off has rapidly increased its clients, now reaching over 90 in the short three years since its launch. They cover the majority of drug discovery companies in Japan and has recently made news for signing a large drug discovery collaboration contract. That company is here, Axley. What's amazing about this place is their access to a compound library that holds over 1.5 million high diversity compounds. It is known as Takeda Pharmaceuticals' secret gem. In addition, the high throughput screening to identify the affinity compound for the target is achieving extremely high quality hits. The hit rate from 1997 to 2018 was 90%, which is quite an extraordinary thing. The volume of the compounds and the facilities for their management and screening could be said to be one of the best in the world. By the way, this compound is said to be worth 30,000 yen each. So 1.5 million compounds would be... Whoa. They are equipped with an abundant supply of state-of-the-art labware for research and undertake everything from research in genetically modified animals to providing a certified facility for animal testing. This allows them to offer top-notch solutions for each and every stage during drug discovery. Moreover, there are over 200 top capable researchers in a variety of fields. Hey, here, how are you? For example, Dr. Nagai is a prestigious toxicologic pathologist. Dr. Kawamoto over there is a high throughput screening specialist. No matter how much technology has advanced, at the end of the day, it's all about people. On top of that, they also appear to be progressing rapidly in the technical development of AI drug discovery. I hear various projects that go far beyond basic research are in progress with companies around the world. These include developments in hybrids between drug discovery and medical device, such as groundbreaking transdermal drug delivery system. A global drug discovery platform has been established in Japan. So, earlier on, I mentioned that only 50 new drugs are launched every year. But a researcher from Axlead told me that they may be able to make that number 100 in the near future. It makes me excited about what's to come. What do you think about it all?